Forecast first on Good Day, Wisconsin, 76 for the high today, mostly sunny, 62 right now in Green Bay. You've probably spent some time outside this summer soaking in the sun's hot rays, but are you protecting yourself? Dr. Kurt Kurowski of Bell & Health in Luxembourg is here to talk about the dangers of skin cancer. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. First of all, what is skin cancer? It's an actual malignancy of the skin. There's, um, um, there's the melanoma, which is the most serious of the skin cancers. It can spread through the body and actually kill a person quite easily if not detected earlier. Most skin cancers, fortunately, are not melanoma. Well, we're going to help people figure out what they have. Mm -hmm. But with the ABCDs of melanoma, you mm -hmm. send along some pictures. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about A and B first. Okay. A is actually um, asymmetry that we're looking for. All right. Um, this is where if you, were to just craw if you were to sort of make a hemisection or just cut the lesion in half visually, does the one half look like the other half? And if it doesn't, you should be concerned. That becomes more concerning. The B? The B is for the borders, which is, are the borders regular, all right, around the lesion, or does it look like it's sort of infiltrating irregularly into the normal skin around okay. it? That's much more concerning. C and D. C and D stands, C is for color, all right? You're looking for a, a benign lesion usually has a normal spread of color throughout the entire lesion, all right? A more concerning lesion would have areas that appear dark or, or different color compared to other aspects of the same lesion. That would also be concerning. Now, th this looking at these images might mm -hmm. prompt a lot of people to start mm -hmm. checking their own, um, but if they're thinking they don't have a problem because they haven't been out in the sun much, mm -hmm. that's really not the case, right? You don't just get melanoma from the sun. Correct. Um, uh, these more these other types of cancers are uh, associated with ultraviolet light exposure. So the more exposure you have, the more likely you are to get. But the melanoma isn't so clearly associated. Although if you have a lot of blistering, bad sunburns in your life, you're more likely. But um, you can be in an office setting um, uh, almost all the time and get melanoma. And still get it. What is it ever too late to start protecting yourself? And you actually want to focus some of that protection even onto the ch children and, and adolescents, okay. all right? Because that's where most of the cumulative sun exposure that you have during your life actually occurs before age 20. But it's never too late to, to cut down your exposure. So slather on the sunscreen uh, when, when it comes to your kids and your teens at home. Let's talk about staying sun smart. You want to apply water resistant sunscreen generously, like we just said. And should that have the UVA and the UVB? Yes, all right. And you're usually putting it on 30 minutes before your anticipated exposure. And then reapply. And reapplying. And you have to reapply if you come out of the water, if you've been doing some swimming. Before we move on to the next screen, let me ask you about the controversy. We've heard that some sunscreens actually cause cancer. There's a, a lot of controversy about that right now. Um, most dermatologists still recommend sunscreens, and that's an important point. We're waiting for some more research data to come in they feel that there may be some design flaws in the way that study was done, that even though they were using the sunscreen, that those patients actually had extra um, ultraviolet light exposure. All right, um, but we also, there's some non-chemical ways of reducing your sun exposure too, and so we'll, we can talk about that. Yeah, there are other ways besides slathering on sunscreen to protect yourself. Can you go over some of those? One is just, you know, engineering your environment, all right? Are you partially covered? Can you get yourself into some shade? Can you get yourself under an umbrella that's blocking the sun in some way? That can be very helpful. Um, keep aware, be aware that you're, Highest exposures are occurring between 10 o'clock in the morning and 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and that's an area, a time of day where you've got to be a little extra careful. And of course, the basics of just um, uh, wearing a floppy hat, uh, keeping your skin covered, uh, these things can also be very useful. And checking yourself, check birthday suit on your birthday. So once a year, it's a good idea to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and have someone, do, like if you can't you know, see some of those areas, have someone you love check for you. But you're also having um, some cancer cancer screenings in Luxembourg today. Correct, correct. We're going to have one this afternoon and uh, we're going to have some future screenings as who well. Do, who do you recommend the screenings for? Um, really anybody who's just seeing something on them that they're concerned about. Um, it, massive screenings of everybody who don't believe they have any sort of lesions they're concerned about haven't been proven to be useful. But if you've got a lesion, especially one that meets some of those criteria we talked about, or just something that's growing or changing or giving you some symptoms, that's a good reason to get checked out. Doctor, thanks so much for stopping by today. No